If you don't know how to play major and minor chords up and down the guitar fretboard, I'm about to change your life in 60 seconds. Let's get into it. Step one, just remember these three shapes. One looks like an E, one looks like a D, and one looks like an A. Hopefully you know those. Now all you have to know is the spelling of a major chord and a minor chord. A major chord has the one, three, and five in it. The minor chord has a one, flat three and five. That's just how you spell it using those interval degrees. The really cool thing about these shapes now is that they all have the interval stacked five, one, three, five, one, three, five, one, three. So if you remember these shapes, you're always going to know the interval degrees of them just by remembering that five, one, three formula. Now to get a major chord, we say we need the one, the third and the fifth. That's what we have now with these shapes. What happens if we want a minor chord? Well, we just have to flatten that third, which means going a half step back. So I'm just gonna release my finger. This was a major chord, five, one, three, minor chord, five, one, flat three. Let's try that here. Five, one, three, flatten the third, minor chord. Five, one, three, flatten the third, minor chord. 